are going to study S C three D hybridization. <coughs> so tell me, how many orbitals involved here? So one is three P and one D. Total, five orbitals involved. So a steric number is equal to five. So a steric number for this. A steric number is equal to a steric num a steric number is equal to five. Yes or no? <coughs> and what is the possibility of a steric number? So S P three D having a steric number five, which will be equal to. So we are going to study first different different case. All are the sigma bond, some are pi bond, some are lone pair. So we'll consider all the situation. So sp 3 d stake number is five because it has five orbitals involved. It is formed by mixing of five orbitals. And when you mix, there is no individual effect of D and P and S. All are the combined effects. Got it? And what is the structure? What is the structure? The structure. What is the structure? So structure is trigonal by pyramidal. Yes or no? SP three D steric number is five. Structure is trigonal, bipyramidal. So this is general about the SP three D hybrids. What is trigonal bipyramidal? So shape is like this. This is a trigonal. One is above and one is below. So this is a trigonal by. So what are the possibility of steric number? What is steric number? It is the sum of lone pair and single bond. Yes or no? So lone pair, a steric number is sum of single bond, lone pair, and at the place of single bond, we can use super single bond also. Yes or no? You can also take super single bond. S S B. S S B. What is S S B? Super single bond. That is the multiple bond is considered as super single bond. Example is. P X. Five. To form a five bond, having no lone pair, no electron, it means max valence electron must be five. And as you know that in fifteen group valence electron is five, but nitrogen can't form five bond because it has no vacant d orbital, no orbitals. But uh, the other Period element like phosphorus. So, what the possibility here? You can say phosphorus, arsenic, and so on. Yes or no? What about X? X will be the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Yes or no? But the best example will be with. Fluorine. Yes or no? So, an ionic part must be more electronegative element. So, what will the structure of PX five? So we know that the structure will be like this. P three will be 
in equatorial plane so this is called the equatorial plane and the two will be in axial plane so this plane is called equatorial plane a plane formed by this which is considered as equatorial plane and what is the shape of that plane triangular yes or no so that's what we call triangular trigonal and uh, this is the above and this is the below so by pyramid above one pyramid below one pyramid so this plane is called equatorial plane and the plane passing through this is called axial plane and the atoms which will lie on axial plane is called axial atom and the atom which lie in equatorial plane is called equatorial atom so tell me the angle between equatorial atom equatorial bond so angle between equatorial see here. how much 120 because you have to put symmetrically see here so this is the symmetrical structure so all angle are 120 so these all angles are 120 120 degree yes or no and what about axial angle so tell me the axial angle so all are the these are the equatorial and these are the axials what is the angle yes so angle between equatorial bond equatorial bond is equal to 120 degree and angle between axial bond is 180 degree between two axial bond 180 degree and angle between axial and equatorial angle between axial and equatorial bond is equal to 90 degree so tell me how many angle of 90 degree how many angle of 90 degree So total angle of 90 degree, angle of 90 degree is how much? Number of angle 90 degree is 3 width above and 3 width below. That is how much? 6. And number of angle of 120 degree how much 3 so this type of question will ask me in the exam so tell me total number of angle having 90 degree angle having 120 degree angle what about the bond length it has less repulsion see here the bond plane equatorial plane has 120 degree angle 120 degree angle Therefore, the bond pair, bond pair repulsion is less. Yes or no? Mm. So, the bond length will be the smaller. And this is the axial. And axial has a repulsion with three other bond. And it is at 90 degree angle. It faces more repulsion. Yes or no? Therefore, this bond will elongate. So generally, in case of bipyramidal sp3d hybridization, axial bond length 
is larger than equatorial bone. Generally, axial bone length, axial bone length that is L axial is larger than L equatorial. So, axial bone length that is between phosphorus and X will be larger than axial bone length between phosphorus and X. So, axial is larger than equatorial. Got it?